Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Random Girls and Collectibles. I'm your host, V, and today we have another action figure. We have the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse um, Green Lantern John Stewart from DC Rebirth. Okay, so I gotta admit something. I am not the biggest Green Lantern fan. However, I bought this figure because I absolutely love it. And so, yeah, so before we take a look at the beautiful figure, let's take a look at the accessories. And we have quite a lot of accessories. We have our usual DC stand here. Our usual DC multiverse stand. We have our usual DC collector card. I actually had to read the Green Lantern John Stewart on this. The card and the art looks immaculous. I absolutely love it. Obviously, you can read the back of the card. If you can try to read the back of the card, that would be awesome. If not, please check out my second Instagram page called Card of the Day, where I will be posting daily cards. And as soon as this video goes up, a image of the front and back of this card will go up as well. So, if in case you can't read the back of this card, it's okay. You just go on to click the link in bio to my second Instagram, and you can check out the card file there. And I'll say like Instagram too, and yeah. Next up, we have this beautiful armor, armor plate right here that goes on John Stewart. I definitely gotta do an articulation test with both the armor and without the armor. Here, we have his little backpack right here, really cute. I love the translucent plastic that McFarlane used on this. I absolutely think it looks gorgeous. And then, oops, we have our nice little weapon. I think John Stewart is military. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But again, looks beautiful. It has that beautiful translucent um, plastic to it. I absolutely love this thing. So, yeah. Now, let's take a look at the figure. Oh, my God. Does this figure ever look beautiful? I love the detail. I love the contrast of colors. I love detail. The face sculpt on its own is immaculate, and it really makes me feel like a part of the Green Lantern Corps. Okay, so let's take a look at articulation. So, we're first going to take a look at the regular articulation. Then, I'm going to take this body plate, and I'm going to put it on, and we're going to try out the top half with the body plate, because it is a little bit different. So, with the head, we get a wide range of movement here on the head. We get downwards that much we get a nice side to side movement and yeah i love that upper movement here going down here we have our usual butterfly joints you can definitely rotate him all the way around it's a little bit stuck there okay we do have a nice swivel right here we have that nice little swivel and then we get down to our double jointed elbows here and they look immaculate right here then we get down to our wrist movements we have a little side to side swivel here we have a little down and up swivel right here going all the way here to the other arm same kind of thing up and down side to side swivel then we go Right here to where the magic of John Stewart happens. He goes about this much back and then crunch down forward. You can definitely wiggle side to side. A little bit harder with this play right here. But definitely can do it with a little bit of force. Then we go down to the thigh right here. There is no upper thigh cut, but we do get a nice double jointed leg right here again i do love um stardomus prime reviews and the floose reviews then we get some nice little foot pedals up there a little bit of side to side there as well then we get our usual toe crunch right here okay so now let's pop off the head Oh, that head is so hard to pop off. Hold on, everyone. 
And we're back, and oh my god, that head play is, this head play is so hard to get on. However, I did realize one thing that you can do. You can actually just slip it on over his head. A lot of people don't recommend doing it, but it just depends on your preference. Of course, it will maybe scratch the paint a little bit. I'm not seeing too much. I don't know. I saw some reviews where it said not to do that, but yeah, you could also do that. That's just an option. I love how cut up this plate is. It's nice and cut. You can get some nice movement still with the plate. It has the hole. If you match up the two holes, you can actually put his back armor on. I believe it goes in like this. Or like this. Yeah, and it just really just adds on to this figurine. I love it. I may just keep the armor on because I just like it. But yeah, now anyways, when I get back, we'll do some comparisons with some other figures. And I'll give my final thoughts on this Green Lantern Rebirth John Stewart figure. And we're back. Okay, so we have some beautiful characters. Let me just move Wonder Woman really close to, obviously, um... John Stewart Green Lantern. So right here, let's go left to right. On the left here, we have Red Hood from New 52. McFarlane Toys, Red Hood from New 52. Um, John Stewart. And we have Wonder Woman 1984 McFarlane Toys action figure. Again, anywhere you place um, John Stewart, he is going to look immaculate. I think Red Hood and Wonder Woman are bigger. A little bit bigger. I don't know. I still don't have a measuring tape, but they look immaculate together. So, yeah. Okay, so here are my overall thoughts. I also posed my John Stewart to Green Lantern to look like he is going into battle. He's ready. He's rocking and rolling into battle, and I love it. Overall, this figure is so awesome. The pose articulation on him is immaculate. The armor is immaculate. And for 25 Canadian dollars, you can't go wrong with him. I think he... Is just an immaculate figure overall, and I think he's a great figure for any DC Multiverse fans collection. I'm gonna give um, John Stewart Green Lantern New 52 McFarlane Toys action figure a 10 out of 10. I am so happy I bought this figure and I pre ordered it. It is a fantastic figure to own, and yeah, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Those links will be down in the description below. And, for, and then I'll see you guys in the next action figure review or the next Funko Pop review. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.